Hi guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, I am taking you along on my home improvement project where I am having my floors redone. I am pulling up all of this old tile. This tile has been laid on the floor for about 15 years now. We had it laid um, maybe about two years after we moved into the home and it was just time for it to go. Here you can see they're starting the process of tearing up the tile. Um, they quickly realized that they needed a bigger, I don't know what you call that tool to get it done. They thought it would come up easily because the tile was laying on top of the vinyl that we had laid when we built the house. That wasn't the case. We had to purchase a, a dumpster bag. I'm not sure what you call this, but it is managed by waste management. The bag was only $29, but y'all, it was $220 for them to come pick it up. I had to make sure that my tables and chairs were protected. You see my chairs are a cream color. I did not want them to be impacted from all of the dust. Y'all, when they pulled up this tile, I literally had to air my house out because with the tile being, with the floor being um, covered for so long, it was just the smell just was not was not pretty what was coming up from that concrete so we had to treat it we had to clean it and he came back and did that the next day you can see my toilet is removed my sink is removed girl it's just stuff everywhere i had to pull everything out of my coat closet those are my doors that are laying on the floor my kitchen is in disarray this is before my stove and my refrigerator were moved um you can see right here, they're still intact as well as my washer and dryer. This was, I think, maybe day one or two. After he pulled up all of the tile, the refrigerator and the stove were removed, obviously, because the tile had to start to go down. So here you see the, the beginning stages of installing this tile. Y'all, this tile gave him a literal fit. This tile is 24 by 48 and it is quite, quite heavy. Here you can see um, the, pro the progression of the tile being installed. We're on day four. Um, it doesn't look like a lot was going on, but in person, there was a lot of progress. This was a very slow moving project, you guys. I mean, this tile was very heavy. It was a very delicate tile. Um, so when I purchased the tile, I purchased 10% extra for cuts and waste that was even not enough because with this tile the size of it once you make a cut it's it you really can't use another cut for another corner so here we are we're now in the kitchen my that is my closet where i keep all of my cleaning supplies and we are almost done you guys you can see the uh floor is almost complete the bathroom is done Everything is done with the exception of a few nooks and crannies. Y'all, I was by this day, I was ready for the tile to be done. I was ready for them to be out of my house. My house was messy. It was dusty. I mean, it was just, it was just a mess, you guys. I mean, I, I, I can't say that enough. It was just a mess. That fine dust from that tile, it was everywhere. But you can see it, it came together, progressed very nicely. You can get a good view of what it looks like. Here, I went ahead and decided to change out the remaining face plates that were in my bathroom and my dining room. That was a little small, little itty, itty bitty project that I had been meaning to do. And I just kept putting it off. You know how you, when you have those projects that are so minute in size, they just seem ins insignificant and they can just... Um, leave your mind that's kind of what happened here because all of that dust got all over my house i went in with a just a generic swiffer from walmart and i cleaned my walls that is a hack you know your walls get dirty too you got to clean them i'm vacuuming the rug that is in my dining room and now i am going to go over the baseboards because after the tile was done they were dusty i had to clean them and i'm just going back over them to give them a fresh you know little coat of white paint here is my old cedar i love this bucket y'all 
um, I'm just going to give the towel a nice wipe down. I've already swept it. I did that off camera. Um, but I'm giving it a nice wipe down with, you know, a nice clean scent of Lavender Fabuloso. And here we are, you guys. This is the finished product. This is after I cleaned the floors, cleaned the walls, put the chairs back, just did all the things to get the house back to a nice clean state i gotta tell you all that by day seven i was really over this project i just was ready for it to be done but i'm glad that it came out the way it did i love the floors this is a porcelain tile it is not marble but i love how it gives it a marble look the last thing that i need to do to finish this downstairs space is to replace my foyer light that task is becoming a little bit daunting because the light i need has to be a certain size but once that happens i will bring that to you guys but i hope you all like the finished product of my floors thank you for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye